Happy Friday guys, welcome to another video for Advanced In Car. It's been a busy old week here and today Richard's been working on this uh, 2011 Audi TT Mark II. So um, this is the uh, coupe and, um, or is it, I think it's the Roadster I think, but um, the car has come into us today for a reversing camera and a new digital media head unit and the reason being is this customer has been uh, came originally to me years and years and years ago for the original Audi RNSE navigation system and that's the old-fashioned uh, factory navigation with the motorized screen that uh, then came down for um, navigation SD cards but then you then needed to add other things to it like Bluetooth uh, and like then also the AMI otherwise you wouldn't have a, uh, iPod or USB connectivity so we stripped all of that out Rich has done a nice little black uh, wedge camera here and then routed all the cabling down to the front for us to do the Alpine ILX 705. So this is version two, super duper, class D amplifier in conjunction with the Bose audio system in here from stock um, and also wireless Apple CarPlay. This has got the new update on it. So it's now got the tidal feature if you wanna log in and subscribe, sorts out a few other little bugs and stuff like that. Uh, and it's awesome. Anyway, jump, uh, well I do, we'll open the boot first so that we can see uh, the reversing camera and then we'll jump on inside. Now all of the cameras that we do, 99% of them, the cameras always have to go off center because of the grab bar underneath here. But the TT is one of the exceptions. So if we open the boot up here, um, you'll, find, uh, you'll find that the camera, depending on the light that we can see here, the camera is absolutely dead center. Now that is spot on for the vehicle. We don't get a lot of variation uh, for moving it forward and backwards. So the view from the camera is what you get. We can't, we can't adapt that and modify that. But in keeping with the vehicle, it looks really, really nice. We've got a dark graphite gray, gunmetal gray, um, and then we've got the standard wedge camera here. So that's been bolted up inside there. That's been hot glued as well. All the cabling routed down into the vehicle all the way through to the front and that's where the ILX 705D is. So jump in, we'll have a look. Okay, let's power this up. Uh, the TT Mark II is quite well specced uh, from factory. So you've got things like the uh, multifunction steering wheel. Because this car also comes with Bose, all of the TTs were amplified, but not all of them were Bose. So this has got the Bose factory sound system in here. So what we've done is we've, um, talking to the quad lock at the back of the radio, we've then used low level pre-outs to talk to the new Alpine, um, which means that it's the cleanest signal. Now, because the new Alpines have got six volt pre-out, sorry if it's boring if you're not into this, but the six volt pre-out means um, a much nicer, cleaner sound because a lot of the units that are out there, no names mentioned are around four volts. Now, because we've got that, we've got the cleanest possible way into the back of the Audi TT unit and the Bose um, factory amplification. We've got steering wheel control, uh, like so. 
we've got uh, wireless Apple CarPlay, wired CarPlay, we've got wired Android Auto, we've got the Class D amplifier, um, which in effect isn't really being used um, because we're going through the factory bows, but we've also got the 720p HD crisp screen. And then in conjunction with this really nice fitting kit, factory airbag, everything is retained. Uh, we've also taken out the AMI, Audi Music Interface, so that in its place, Richard's um, neatly put the dual USB, one for charging, one for CarPlay. The new app, um, this is only, this is the first unit we've put the new app on, um, the new update, sorry, not new app, but the new update allows for Tidal. You do have to um, log in uh, and enter your um, user details, but once you've done that, it allows you to connect through Wi-Fi um, and means that you can now listen to your Tidal um, playlists. You can set playlists and it's going to be the cleanest audio source that you can get, which is absolutely awesome. Now, also, Richard's fitted our gloss black camera, as mentioned a few minutes ago. So we pop it into reverse like so and you've got the reverse gear. This is our number plate here, and you can just see the lip. Now, we, as I said to you earlier when we were outside, we don't get a lot of movement choice for the camera. We can't just go, let's move it forward or backward a bit. It's here, it's the only place it can go. But either way, because we're mounting it onto a metal part of the boot lid, it still looks nice and clean, uh, and the image is gonna give you what you want because you're already gonna have things like, uh, if the vehicle's got it, rear parking sensors. Uh, a lot of the tower, the TTs didn't have front parking sensors but had audible rear ones, um, but not all of them. So either way, if you haven't got parking sensors, you've got the rear camera like so, uh, and then you've also got access to the camera like so because it's aftermarket. So uh, steering wheel control, rear camera, integrated with the Bose uh, factory system. This is the ILX 705D, really nicely fitted with a double fascia, double din fascia, and um, FM integration. We have had to fit an aftermarket glass dab antenna, but it is one of our usual ones with a 12 volt amplification to give you the best. Um, microphone is, is up high and on show. We don't recommend that you try and hide these away, it just doesn't work as well. Um, but if you've got a vehicle like this, and you're worried about how it's going to integrate and you want to get it done and fitted properly by us, just come down and see us. See us. It's worth the drive uh, and we always then have returning customers because of the quality of our work. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends and family. This is the ILX 705 in a 2011 Audi TT Mark II and uh, thanks for watching.